Sunday morning, March the 5th, 2023. And it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And this morning we're going to read Psalm 8, verses 6 through 8. Psalm 8, verses 6 through 8. This is in the middle, in the latter half, actually, of a great psalm. That starts out, O oh Lord, our Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. And he talks about the creation of man in these verses. Verse 6 says, Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. And these words simply teach us that God has given man dominion over the earth. I think it's interesting that we see in the book of the Revelation, I think it's chapter 5, where the Bible speaks of the seven-sealed book. And, you know, God originally created the heavens and the earth, and they were his own, for his own glory, and they belonged to him, and they com he committed them unto man, and man lost that um, control, lost that dominion due to sin, and now God has determined to gain it back again in the last days. And I think that's what the Seven Sealed Book is, about, is all about. It's the title deed to the earth. And the Lord uh, states the conditions by which man can have dominion over the earth again. And, and the Lord can redeem that which has been lost. Because when he defeated Satan, when he rose from the grave, he claimed the, the keys of death and hell and the grave. He claimed the key over the the control over the over sin, and and of course sin results in death and hell and the grave and all of that. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But I think it's a great thing that the Lord gave man dominion in this way originally. Man blew it, and Romans five twelve says, "Wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned." And man failed to keep dominion over the earth. He sacrificed that because of his bad decisions, his decision to disobey God, and that resulted in death and and hell and the grave for unbelievers. And of course, sin is very far reaching. A lot of people blame God for all the evil in the world, but God has simply permitted man to do what he wanted to do. And man's own actions and man's own choices result in the evil that's in the world today. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. I think it's refreshing to, to note in the scriptures how God created the heavens and the earth, and God made it all good. In fact, at the end of Genesis chapter 1, he said he beheld all that he had made, and behold, it was very good. God saw everything he had made, and it was all good until sin entered into the picture. And then, of course, death by sin and destructiveness and all the other negative things that God mentioned in Genesis chapter 3 because of man's sin. And Satan was the one, of course, who introduced sin into the human family. He was the one who brought sin into the universe in the first place. But God's name is still excellent, and God is still victorious, and God will gain the victory over sin and death and hell. And he's already claimed that victory, and we won't have to experience the condemnation of God for sin because sin has already been paid for. And if you've received Jesus Christ as your Savior and repented and trusted Him alone for salvation, He, as the second person of the eternal Trinity, has purchased your redemption. And it's already a done thing. And one day the Lord will restore all things and make all things new. And the end of the book of the Revelation talks about the new creation, the new heavens and the new earth. Hebrews chapter 1, this just emphasizes the power and the majesty of the Almighty God. The Bible says that one of these days the universe will get old and God will fold it up like a garment and put it away and make a new one. And, you know, we can't even probe the depths of eternity of the universe, as it were. But God has complete control over it and he measures all with a span of his hand. What an immense, what an eternal, what a magnificent God we serve. Just look to him, just just 
just thank him for the fact that you can know him personally and he desires to control and to lead in your life. God bless you today.